lovely to see everyone. I am back with my August update. As I mentioned in my last video, I've dropped down to doing uh, monthly updates uh, just because I think then, um, seeing as I'm at a really tight uh, place in my weight loss, as it were, uh, there's going to be quite a bit of plateauing. And to be honest, right now, I'm in maintenance mode because while I would like to lose what further weight and I am trying to it's okay if I plateau as long as I stay under BMI 30 because now we're into the once we get under BMI 30 uh, we're into sort of the countdown towards excess skin removal surgery so yeah I figured uh, monthly updates would uh, save everyone some time <laughs> basically uh, well, so let's talk about what happened over August. Uh, I live in the UK. We had all, we had an okay July and then August we had two amazing weeks and that's basically what I'm counting as our summer. <laughs> when it was just glorious sunshine and hot and wonderful and then the torrential rain started and now it's definitely autumn. There's a chill in the air. It's just so, I mean, People say British people talk a lot about the weather and it's true. And my uh, explanation for that is because we can have four seasons in a day. So yeah, I mean, we talk about the weather because it is a constant variable just going on all around us, um, as well as us being generally, you know, repressed and scared and all those other wonderful things that make up our... Um, Genetic makeup. Speaking of genetic makeup, so um, during August, uh, it was my birthday month. I am a Leo. Hello. Uh, even post O Futures, I am a Leo. Uh, I saw a great uh, video about <laughs> O Futures um, from a comedian. I'll put the I'll put the link to their video uh, in the description. Um, and what I say about that is that, yeah, okay, the 13 star or sun signs have changed, but I'm someone who likes to know what my moon sign and the other signs are. And then I hope they're working on this behind the scenes. No one's updated their moon signs, their uh, other signs to reflect this change. So I'm like a sun Leo moon Virgo, which makes me in astrological terms, what they call the anxious lion. So I've got all the, Rawr, I'm amazing, I'm awesomeness of Leo, but then the, ah, I'm terrible and everything's going wrong of Virgo, which is great. <laughs> oh, genetics, genetics. Um, I got my DNA looked at. I, I did one of those health and well-being things. Uh, kids from Living DNA was the one I, I chose because they had the, the ancestry and the health. And oh my god, my ancestry is hilarious. They presented me with this glorious map of the world, you know, mostly focused around sort of the west coast of America, Europe, bits of Africa and all that. And my ancestry was this tiny tiny speck in the uh, on the uh, southern so they call it the South Wales area and it basically incorporates a, like five counties like um, Shropshire uh, Worcestershire and Worcestershire is indeed where my <laughs> parents come from so as far back as their records can tell, my family have never bred outside of this tiny, tiny area. And there's this glorious map of Europe and the world. And my genetics are... <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh, how funny. So... August. Now, the reason I did that, the reason I did that um, test thing was it was my treat to myself uh, for my birthday. Like I said, I'm a Leo. My birthday fell in August. So there was a proper birthday splurge. Uh, 
uh, my sibling very kindly got me a vegan chocolate cake. What? <laughs> it was it was scary. It was gorgeous. It was wonderful. I was very happy for it. Um, and I had chips for lunch. Um, and we had no, oh, no, I had chips for dinner. And we got like picnicky, like lovely food um, for lunch. I am definitely uh, now trying to be one hundred percent vegan. And I think I'm, I am managing it. The problem is when I when I buy the food, when I'm, you know, um, the one supplying the food. But I do have really uh, lovely, amazing friends that do baking and they offer it to me. And it's like, I, I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't, but um, in terms of my veganism, you know, I'm never going to say I shouldn't about accepting a gift from a friend. Um, but I, that, that, that I do break my veganism for, um, but it, it, it's a very rare thing. And I'm really happy to be feeling that I'm fully back to being vegan, which is awesome. Um, just have to get, I just have, it's my willpower. It's my willpower that fails. It's nothing about what these people are offering me. It's about my willpower. I need to say if I'm vegan, that I will not consume animal products. That's on me. And uh, it's my weakness and susceptibility to uh, food and the pleasures of it that makes me fail on that. So I need to get better at that. Uh, I am back to Huel. Uh, and it's awesome. They made a Huel Black, which has more protein and less carbs and is naturally gluten free. Now, that's another thing that came out in my um, genetic looking at is uh, that I am prone to celiac disease. And uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I've got um, pervasive ulcerative colitis. And one of the things that they recommend for inflammatory bowel diseases is to eat on the, what they call the FODMAP, um, which are foods that have a lower gut impact than others. I'll put a link in the description. So it's great that the, fuel I'm having is naturally gluten-free uh, and I'm trying to be gluten-free as well. Right now my diet is uh, every day except Saturday it's three meals of fuel and then on top of the fuel I have one pack of the uh, on-the-go Nairn's fruit and seed oat cakes and one pack of the, I think they're Nans as well, the gluten-free dark chocolate biscuit breaks. So the Huel, three servings of Huel Black is 1200 calories. The on-the-go oat cakes are 155 calories and the uh, biscuit breaks are, if I recall correctly, about 200 calories. So I'm currently, and plus, during the day, I have oat milk in my drinks. So without looking at it exactly, uh, the food I'm eating is about 1,550 calories, and then whatever I have in terms of uh, oat milk in drinks on top of that. And I do have a, a fair bit, I would say, because I have like definitely a tea and a coffee or the equivalent if I'm working from home because pandemic um, in iced tea. I actually make my own um, iced tea because you can get the bags of the mix and it's super easy. I just make a big like, uh, what's the word, mason jar every, um, I don't know, three or four days. And it's awesome, I love it. And it's, I don't know if I'd actually enjoy, I mean, I didn't need to try it, but it's, you can't really find Thai iced tea uh, made vegan because it's, it either involves like a, a real Thai iced tea, either involves like full fat milk or, um, or just normal milk or condensed milk. Ooh. So this is probably what Thai iced tea tastes to me, tastes like to me now. It's like my oat, oat milk version, but I like it. It's really nice and gives that good caffeine kick. So, but the downside of the Huel, so like I said, Saturdays, I will have the odd, I might have the odd treat around it. I mean, I, I would rather not, but one thing I have noticed with Huel is 
I get cravings for the for different textures and that's why I've added the Nairn's oat biscuits to my diet because the Huel is just liquid, right? It's just drinking this um, quite thick, quite grainy liquid. And then you really fancy crunch, you know? So those oat biscuits take care of that, which is great. And sometimes if I'm craving salt, like if I've been exercising or whatnot, um, because I'm in, because we've gone back to the office like part time, you know, like a couple of days of the week, uh, and the rest of the time we work from home, I do do more cycling now. Uh, I have a uh, frozen edamame, so I can just whip up a serving of those and cover them with salt, and that that takes care of uh, the salty craving. So I'm really I'm really happy with my diet right now. I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's nicely balanced in calories. It's got, um, it's taking care of my FODMAP concerns for my uh, health. It's vegan and it uh, has a bit of uh, texture and a bit of differentiation. The bit, the only bit where I fall down is when I let myself have something on the Saturdays or the odd just random craving and I need to be careful about that uh, because I am on a very tight calorie leash right now in terms of being able to lose weight. Uh, I've mentioned that I have a body composition scale and it breaks down uh, all the different things like BMI, fat, uh, muscle, bone, uh, fat around your organs, visceral fat. And it also gives you the calories that uh, someone would need to eat to maintain the body that you have currently. And the calories that I would eat to maintain this body are basically 1500. So that's it. I, I'm, I'm bang on sort of the main maintenance intake um, and possibly even slightly over, but that might take account of the fact that, you know, I try and do my minimum 5,000 steps a day. I cycle twice uh, a day during the week to work and then I'm wandering around because my job involves uh, being on your feet a fair bit. So yeah, it's, I'm on a really tight, I'm on a tightrope right now. Um, but I would like to make progress. I would like to continue losing weight. Um, we just have to see if mentally I can rise to that challenge because I mean, three servings of Huel and two of those little snack packs of biscuits oh, fill me up fine. Absolutely, they, they fill me up fine. It's just the mental bit. It's just the boredom or the stress or whatever that makes me go, I'm hungry and I'm really not. Um, so anything else happen over August? Oh, I started a Twitch channel. Oh my God, I've been trying out Twitch. It's been so much fun. Um, I've got, I'll put a link in the description. I am a variety streamer. I play games. I've looked at list articles. Um, like right now, because apparently there's some kind of masochism streak going on there. We're doing top 100 world desserts. Ah! Oh, those pictures though. Those pictures. Though. I'm very lucky in that I can happily live vicariously through other people's food. <laughs> You're having cake. What are you having? Tell me, is it good? What's the texture? You know, kind of thing. So I do that. Like I said, I've got a full-time job. And uh, so it's this same thing with YouTube. It's, it's a hobby. It's a fun thing to do. I love uh, these kind of media platforms. I like getting involved with them. I love trying to build a sense of community and just giving a positive place, uh, a positive sp uh, space and a place where I, I, I'm just one of these people that tries to, tries to leave whatever, have a positive impact on whatever little, little bubble or little area I'm operating in. So yeah, um, we play games. Like right now I'm being the bestest Batman, which uh, means flailing around in Arkham City, flying into walls and, um, and looking, looking down on a rooftop and realizing that there's a gun toting. Realizing that I'm in between a, a guy with a Kalashnikov and another guy with a broken bottle and going, oh, hello. <laughs> so yeah. Great fun. Please do check that out if it's your kind of thing. No worries if not. <clears throat> so
So we should probably look at the actual weight loss results <laughs> for the month after all that rambling. I do apologize, I guess. Why am I apologizing? It's an update video. This is this is how my month has been. How has your been? Tell me in the comments. I want to hear about it. Um, <clears throat> so what I've been doing because of these monthly update things, I'm going to I'm going to focus on like today's the Saturday after I weighed in on Friday and that Friday weigh in is like the September uh, month beginning, as it were, if, in terms of my weight monitoring. So the figures I'm talking about now are based on that, right? So the start of our, so my current weight on that weigh day was 73 kilos, which is 161 pounds. Lovely. Fantastic. So let's compare that to what happened. So at the start of August, put the figures up here, um, we were, I was 75.2. So that is a loss. That is a loss of 2.2 kilos or five pounds, which is fantastic. And as you can see throughout the month, um, Basically, the first week went, of August went great because we dropped down to 73.9. Can you spot which week my birthday was in? Because <laughs> on the 14th, 74.2. Oh, yeah. And then back down to um, <clears throat> 72.5. And also, I actually, oh, I forgot to say that. The reason I could start a Twitch channel even was because I took two weeks off in August. I was on vacation and because of the current circumstances, I just stayed home. That's the first time I've ever had a vacation for that long where I've literally just been home. And it was really weird. I had some, it was lovely, absolutely lovely. But I did have a couple of men, like mental uh, moments where I was like, should I check in with work? What, what, this can't be right. And it was like, no, it is, it's right. Ooh, interesting. Um, so I had two weeks off and including the week of my birthday because it's my personal policy never to work on my birthday. And yeah, you can see then the week after that. So basically what I'm looking at whenever I look at this data, I'm looking at the weight, obviously. I'm looking at the BMI and I know I peaked. I know I peaked over 30. Mm. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be upfront. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to present all the data, all of it. I've got it since November 2017. I'm going to present all the data to uh, the surgeons when I go speak to them. Uh, the fat is interesting. So you can see, um, <clears throat> excuse me, those the two weeks off, which were the weeks of the, um, I think it was the week, I'm not sure which two. Two of those middle weeks were the ones I took off. And because I'm getting confused because obviously Friday's at the end of a week. But you can see what fat, what the fat percentage was up to where I wasn't doing my exercising to work, like when I, my cycle commute. So yeah, at the start of the month, I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like 29.3%. Point, and then that's sort of creeped, creeped up to 309 Meanwhile, the muscle, we shoot to the end column started at 50.4 and is going up and down a bit and ended on 47.5 so that gives us a summary of uh weight loss 2.2 kilos five pounds fat gain of 0.7 kilos muscle loss of 2.2 kilos uh, what Oh my God, my maths is wrong in my... Oh God, oh no, ignore, ignore. Anyway, so we won't worry about that. That makes my total weight loss since the start of my journey, which was January 2017, 79.4 kilos or 175 pounds in ye oldie money. That is 12 stone, six pounds. And now I've written all that down and spotted that I can't even add up with the muscle. I hope I'm right, but I've always sucked at math. 
Well, anyway, I definitely have lost a lot of weight and now weigh less than I did. I have now lost more than half my weight. I definitely, that is, that is for true. Whatever else you want to take away, that is, when I say you, I mean me, comforting myself over the bad maths. <laughs> we done good. We done good. Anyway, uh, so, whew, I think that's, uh, I think that's covered everything. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is keeping safe. I uh, would love to hear about your weight loss journeys. I mean, I'm very clear that the way I do things is very personal to me, is very, a bit, is esoteric, unusual, is that the right word? Um, and it wouldn't suit everyone. And I had to change my disclaimer because I accidentally deleted it when I was tidying up my video files folder. Um, and yeah, basically, you know, I'm not, I'm not a professional, very few of us here are on YouTube, I suspect. Um, I'm just here chronicling what's going on with me. And if it helps anyone, that's brilliant. That's that's what I'm after. Drop me a note. Let me know what's going on with you. And uh, yeah. Right. I will... Sorry, I'm used to wrapping up Twitch videos. So now wrapping up YouTube videos is different. Ah! <laughs> anyway. Take care everyone, whether I see you here in a month's time or whether I see you over on Twitch, I look forward to it. See you soon, bye.